Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Purple Cow ice cream. Uh, Purple Cow is a Meyer brand. That's where we bought both of these is Meyer. They were $3.49 each. Okay. I have the uh, sea salt caramel truffle ice cream. And I have chocolate mud flood. These have a protective seal. I'm gonna take mine. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so it's a nice plastic seal. What's um, the blue thing on there, Seth? The blue thing. The blue little tag. It says sea salt. Oh, sea salt. That is yeah. what it says. This is vanilla flavored ice cream with sea salt truffles and a salty caramel swirl. So guess what we're going to be expecting? Salt. salt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, please have some salt. Uh, three servings are in the container. Two thirds cup, 123 grams is 310 calories. So 310 calories and there's three servings. So immediately you see... A um, swirl. Caramel. I have had this laying out for about 10 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, don't scoop too much though. Let me show that chunk. The chunk of chocolate with caramel. It says sea salt truffles and a salty. So everything in here is um, sea salt truffles and salty caramel swirl. Okay. I'll just still buy it for you this time. Well, I want to make sure that you get a. Did there's, you get a chunk? Because mm -hmm. there's two right there. Mm -hmm. Good strong caramel flavor. The vanilla ice cream is really good. I'm waiting for salt. I love the flavor. I the love the caramel's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I love the texture of that truffle. It um it has a a crisper outer shell and then you bite into it and it's um creamy, um I don't know how to describe that well on the inside, smooth on the inside. Mm -hmm. And um so I like biting into that. I like the flavor of the caramel. I did, did you not just eat the caramel by itself. Yeah, you get a little bit of saltiness. I was gonna say I didn't get salt. Yeah, if you eat just the caramel by itself, like you take a bite of this caramel right here. I um, did. Yeah, you get a little bit of salt. It's not like grains of salt, but you do get a saltiness in there. You do it right, exactly. Some mm. things that say sea salt caramel, you actually get the the. The, you can feel the salt on your tongue. You yeah. can get a piece of salt in almost. between <laughs> your teeth. And this wasn't yeah. like that. This is like salt water mixed in with the caramel. Yes, yes, that's what it's like. Yeah. Or melted in the caramel. But I really like mm -hmm. that. It's and really it, good ice cream. Yeah, there's and definitely it looks like it has a lot in there, so yeah. you would get a lot. Yeah, there's lots of chunks of those chocolate truffles in there. Um, plenty of caramel. Yeah, this purple, the purple cow, uh, we've done other videos on these previously. And that's one thing I have to say about them is uh, the mix-ins are plentiful. They didn't skimp on them, I don't mm -hmm. think. Uh, this is the chocolate mudslide. Chocolate ice cream with brownie fudge bits and a salty fudge swirl. It is two thirds cup, 124 grams is 340 calories. So more than the first one. And it has three servings. Now in the picture, they show actual flakes of salt on the top of this brownie. Yeah, that's okay. I wonder if they did on that other package. Ooh, look how dark that fudge is. Yeah, they showed. Yeah, the they showed the salt, but I want you to know you don't get granules of salt like that because sometimes you do. This you don't. Now this one, we'll see. That fudge is just amazing looking. Yeah, <laughs> it's very thick. This that sounded crunchy. Uh huh. I'm just gonna. Do I get Yeah, because I think that'll be plenty. And you can see the fudge swirl around the side. The machine caught it all the way around the side. Okay. It's not crispy. Mine wasn't. It's dense. But I really like it. Um, it's also very dark. It is a darker, 
um, the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And you can get the salt. You get a salty chocolate flavor. I don't get salt crystals. I get the, chocolate, the salt flavor. I really like that a lot. Um, it's okay for me. It's a little too chocolatey for me because it's it's very. Uh, it's almost got the bitterness from a dark chocolate. Oh yeah. So I would much rather have the caramel out of the two. Right. Um, I think it's good. If you really like a chocolate and you really like darker chocolate, I think you'd like that. Mm-hmm. Me, I wouldn't buy that one again. For me. And I would. No. Because I just, I really like that. I love the texture of that fudge swirl. I could it's, just eat the fudge swirl out of there. And just eat that Yes. Yeah. Okay. Leave the rest of it. Wow. I took a bite of just um, the, the fudge a while mm -hmm. ago, and it left all kinds of salt in my teeth. Like a little salt crystal? No. But just the flavor. Just the flavor. Yeah, yeah it, did, it doesn't leave crystals, but the, the flavor, it's like, it, that was amazing because everything else had left. I'd swallowed everything else, and then I was left with this pocket full of... Um, like salt. Salt. But it was crazy good. <laughs> I love it when that happens. I got a saltiness from that too. That was that's good. I like both of these and would buy either one of these again. Yeah, me it's just a personal flavor preference for me. I just don't like the darker chocolate. But if mm -hmm. you do, then you're it's yes, good. It's, it's delicious. Just, uh, not for me. Yeah, I like these. And we have done other reviews of Purple Cow, so if you haven't watched those, just type in Tammy Dunn Purple Cow and it'll come up with with everything we've reviewed from mm -hmm. Purple Cow because there have been a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, some of them get a, lot, a while back. Um, some of the first ones we tried, I don't think Kevin was impressed with, mm -hmm. but I think they've come a long way. Yeah, they've made changes or something. Right? Yeah, it, yeah, it's they've come a long way from the first ones that Kevin bought in the cups mm -hmm. a, a couple of years ago, I think. So um, I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.